thought I'd make a short video showing what I have to do to thread a short barrel such as a pistol barrel or any barrel that is shorter than 19 inches. If the barrel is 19 inches, I can go completely through the headstock, adjust the muzzle end with the four jaw independent chuck, the receiver end or chamber end of the barrel with the four spider bolts on the opposite end. Little short barrels, I have to put in this eight bolt jig, and then I'll use the four jaw chuck to get the jig running true. Then I'll insert the short barrel, such as this Ruger Mark II. It is installed and then I get it roughly centered just to start. And then I have this indicator rod. It has a live pilot bushing that is sized for the bore of the rifle or pistol. And then it is gradually tapered. So you're getting two points of the bore and then you can indicate off the rod. So we'll slide this into the bore. Now we'll bring the dial indicator onto the indicator rod. Now I've already pretty much got this one dialed in. But what you would do is you'll rotate the chuck, rotating the barrel, and you'll see what the runout is. And then here you will adjust these four bolts to get it running true. And you'll run the dial indicator down, further down the rod, see what the runout is, and then you'll adjust the four bolts on the jig on this end. And you just have to keep going back and forth. When you adjust the four bolts here, getting this run true, it's going to have a bearing on this end. So you have to constantly go back and forth to adjust this one running true. Then adjust these to get it running true here and back and forth. You just keep going back and forth until it's running true. This one should be within a thousandths now. Probably about half a thousandth run out. I could put a a finer graduated indicator on, but if it's half a thousandth, there's no need to try anymore. At the end of the rod, I'm showing just a little less than one thousandth run out. Which, again, for for all intent and purposes, if it's less than a thousandth, you've got a real, you've got a pretty close. Completely zero run out would be preferred, but I live in reality, and with my setup, one thousandth run out to half a thousandth run out is is acceptable. Now I'll thread the barrel, make sure I get the shoulder cut square. Have me a thread protector already made, but I'll install the thread protector after it's threaded and I'll turn the end of it down to closely match the end of the muzzle. Before I bolt it up, 
or chucked in my eight jaw jig that already took a big portion of the excess metal off the barrel where it'll be threaded. Now I've got it dialed in where the barrel is set up running true to the bore. So I need to take 32 thousandths remaining off of the barrel to get it to the thread diameter for half 28th. Take about six to seven thousandths more off. using any lubrication for coolant so it don't splash on the camera. We have the diameter 499 thousandths which will get us right at the max major diameter for half 28. Where are we at? There. So 500 to 493.5. And we've got 499. So we're right at the max major diameter. I'll cut a little chamfer on the end of the barrel where the starting threads will be. I will recrown the muzzle so we know because we know the bore is running true so might as well go ahead and cut the crown then I'll thread it but I'll do all this off camera the barrel is now threaded and the thread protector has been trimmed so it exits or it's just past the end of the muzzle. And all that's left to do is drill and tap the new front sight hole and reinstall the front sight. And here we have the finished work. Barrel is threaded half 28, thread protector, and the front sight has been moved back. Now you wonder why jobs such as this would cost so much. <clears throat> now other people may do this quicker than me, but this is how long it takes me being careful and cautious that I'm doing this precise work as possible. I make the thread protector and get it cut to the proper length, 30 minutes. Cut the initial shoulder of the barrel for threading, 15 minutes. Dial in the barrel in the 8 bolt jig to prepare for threading, 30 minutes. Thread the barrel and recrown the end of the muzzle, 30 minutes. Set up the machine for drilling, tapping, and installing of the front sight, 30 minutes. So we have 2 hours and 15 minutes 
of labor. That's why jobs such as this will cost what they do. I hope you enjoy.